In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to replace the Human Touch Supernova Calf Massager. First thing we're going to do is power off the chair, then unplug it. Next, we'll unzip the zipper that secures the calf massager to the seat cushion. And then we can see that the calf massager is secured to the chair by these retaining clips here. So in order to make sure we don't drop the retaining clip into the chair as we're removing it, we're going to use a zip tie and slide that until you can see those loops there. If those loops aren't uh, visible there, rotate the clip around until you can see those three small loops. Um, and then slide the zip tie through the loops. Just, just lets you get a, get a hold of it without uh, losing the clip. And then you can lift that clip up and off the post, like so. Okay, then we'll do that on the other side. You can see we can rotate this till those three little loops are up on top. Once we have those retaining clips removed, we can simply slide the calf massager to one side so that the bracket comes off of the mounting post on one side and then the other side and slide it forward enough to expose the hose and the connector behind the calf massager. We can detach the hose and then carefully detach that connector making sure to depress the locking tab before pulling out on the connector. Don't just yank the connector out or you will damage the wiring. Like so. Then we can remove the calf massager from the chair. Before installing the new calf massager then, take note of these plastic bracket covers here. Um, these actually can detach, they just snap into place here. So if one of them happens to fall off, snap it into place. And your calf massager may actually have these secured with a zip tie or a wire. If that's the case, cut that zip tie or wire because these are a tight fit and you can install it uh, with those on. So um, I just wanted to point this out because these, mu these must be in place um, for the calf massager to be installed properly. So pay attention to these as you're installing the calf massager and if they fall off you need to stop and just snap them back into place and make sure they remain in place as you're installing the calf massager. Okay, now we're ready to slide the calf massager up close enough so that we can connect the connector and the air hose. Make sure the air hose is all the way on there. Okay, and then again, keeping an eye on those plastic bracket covers, we're going to lift the calf massager up and slide one of those brackets onto the post and then slide it all the way on and then the other bracket centering them on those posts so that the calf massager is supporting itself. Okay, once we have the calf massager balanced between those two mounting points, we'll get our zip tie again and loop it through the three loops on the retaining clip. Position that retaining clip with the tongue pointed in. And then slide that down into position. on the end, there's a little groove on the end of that mounting post. Slide that on and then we can remove the zip tie. Right here. Again, we're going to position this with the tongue pointing in, the tongue on the clip pointing in. And 
and slide that onto the groove at the end of the mounting point. Like so. And finally, we can close that zipper then to reattach the calf massager to the seat cushion. Then we can plug in the chair, power it on, and confirm that the calf massager is now working properly.